Well, hello, my algebra students. We're putzing right along. We'll have our next test next Friday, unless, of course, something happens. And our test is going to be scientific notation, a little factoring, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to review today and Monday. And then we're going to start fractions next week. So, um... A quadratic formula won't be on it. Parabolas won't be on it, which I know really disappoints you. But uh, let's do GCF today. Greatest common factor and a little difference of squares. I will put the answers out <clears throat> on Monday from the homework I had you turn in yesterday. Don't turn in today's homework. I don't want you to turn it in. It's just practice. But GCF is greatest common factor. And that's where you have terms and you want to factor out, break apart a term that's common to every term. So if I have 8x plus uh, 16, I would say, okay, is there a number that goes into 8? And is there a number that goes into 16? And hopefully you'd say, yes, 8. Then I would say, is there an X in both terms? You'd say no, hopefully. So then you say 8 times what is 8X? And 8 times what is 16? That's 2, and that's factoring out the GCF. So if I had 6X to the 7th plus 5X to the 5th, you'd say, do I have a number that goes into 6 and 5? And hopefully you'd say, I don't see one other than one. And is there an X in every term? There is. It's the smallest power that occurs. So it'd be 1X to the 5th or X to the 5th. So 1 times 6 is 6. When you multiply two things same base, you add. So 5 plus what is 2? You'd say X squared plus 1 times 5. And then you already have x to the fifth. So if I have, let's say, 6x to the sixth plus 4x to the fourth, you'd say, okay, what number goes in the six and what number goes in the four? And hopefully you see it's two. Do I have an x in both terms? Yep, lowest power is four. So it'd be 3x squared plus 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, and we already have x to the 4th. So if I have 10x to the 10th plus 8x to the 8th plus 6x to the 6th, I'd say what number goes into 6, 8, and 10? And hopefully you would say, well, choose the biggest number that goes into all three. Do I have an X in all three terms? Yes. Lowest power is 6. So there's 6 of them in each term. 2 times what is 10? That'd be 5. Now this should be reviewed, but it's been a little while. Plus 2 times 4 is 8. And then I have 2 to get to the X to the 8. X squared, I should say. Uh, 6 plus 2 is 8. And then 2 times 3 is 6. And I, oops, I almost messed up. And I already have an x to the 6. So it's just 3. So try this one for me. 30x to the 30 plus 20x to the 20 plus 10x to the 10th. Factor that for me and then turn me back on. Okay, what's the biggest number that goes into 10, 20, and 30? And hopefully you see it's 10. Do I have an X in every term? Oh, yes, I do. So I'm going to factor it out. So this would be 3. And then I have 10 of them, so I need 20 more. X to the 20th. Plus, I have a 2 times 10 is 20. But how many do you add to 10 to get to 20? That'd be 10. And this is the one most people get wrong. What do you multiply 10x to the 10th by to get 10x to the 10th? When? 
Okay, difference of squares is when you have a square minus a square. If you have something squared minus something squared, they realized the pattern is what you square plus what you square. X squared is X squared. Y. And then the same thing, but you have a minus. Now, you could put the minus first and the plus second. So if I have X squared minus... Uh, let's say uh, 25. We have two terms with the minus. So you look for difference of squares. So do I have a square minus a square? Now you don't have to write this part down. But I do have a square minus a square. So x plus 5, x minus 5. Woohoo! Does this look familiar, I hope? Let's say we have 100x squared minus 1. Well, what do I square to get 100x squared? Well, 100 is 10 squared. And then x squared is x squared. And 1 is any power you want. So it would be 10x plus 1, 10x minus 1. So let's say I have um, uh, x to the 8th minus y to the 10th. Well, what do you square? Well, if you remember, when you raise something to a power, then raise it to another power, you multiply. So really the question is, what times 2 is 8? And hopefully you see it's 4. Why is that dark over there? There, we'll bring it over here. And then this would be, what do you multiply by 2 to get 10? And that's 5. So it would be x to the 4th plus y to the 5th. x to the 4th minus y to the 5th. Last one. Let's see if you remember how to do this. What would be 81x to the 20th? Minus, oh, uh, forty-nine y to the tenth. Try that one, then turn me back on. So, what do you square to get eighty-one? Nine. When you raise a base to a power, then to another power, you multiply the power. So it's x to the tenth. Minus, this would be 7y to the 5th squared. So it would be 9y, uh, 9x to the 10th plus 7y to the 5th. And 9x to the 10th minus 7y to the 5th. Hey, does that look familiar, I hope? So see if you can do those problems by Monday. You don't need to send them in. Then I'll have the answers to them on Monday. I might make uh, Monday and Tuesdays and Wednesdays videos this weekend or early, but it'll still be listed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll see. Uh, have a good day.